Welcome back to We Shoot Films, where we talk about cinematography, Unreal Engine, we do product reviews, tutorials, all of the above about creating a great and cinematic image. So if you're into that, make sure to subscribe. Today, I have a light, a small but powerful light from Apparel, and they sent me this light to review. Um, anything I say is whatever I want to say. They did not pay me for this, but they did send me the light. This thing is pretty dope, so let's get into it. Comes in this nice box right here. Also included is a USB charging cable, one diffuser, one honeycomb grid, a bracket. It also comes with a storage bag. So as usual, let's get all the specs out the way. So here we go. This is a small but powerful 10 watt light. And the Calvin on this bad boy is from 2000 all the way to 20,000. Now you don't see too many of those. Now it has different battery life modes. So at 5600 at 100%, you can get 120 minutes in normal mode, 150 minutes in economy, 210 minutes in super economy, and 350 minutes in deep economy. Now that's dope. The RGB light provides about 36,000 colors for option. It has a total of 37 lighting effects. It has a large lithium battery, dual charging mode, so you could do this through USB-C or even wireless charging. And thank God they have a great app for this called Desal Light Plus. We'll talk about that later. Also, I was surprised to find out that this bad boy also has magnets back here, so you can mount this almost anywhere that accepts magnets, so that's pretty dope, man. The CRI is 97 and the TLCI is 96. So that's pretty much what it is. You know what I mean? It's lightweight. It's not too heavy at all. Um, it's bright. For being 10 watts, it's pretty bright. And this small thing packs a lot in it that a lot of it for, for the price range, you're going to get way more out of your money for this um, than anything else. So imagine with two of these, three of these, you could do a whole lot. Okay, so now I'm at 100%. It's about three feet away. My FX30 is at 800 ISO at 2.8, and this is as a key light with no diffusion or nothing, 100% brightness. Now here it is, the same thing, same settings, but with the included diffusion on. And now this is the light with the honeycomb grid that comes included. It's very directional and does a great job. All right, so make sure to download the DSAW Light Plus. Not regular, just the DSAW Light Plus. Have your unit on, it's gonna see it, all right? This is the beginning, the front of it. You have obviously your, you know, your exposure here, your, your levels. I'm gonna leave it around here. And you can control it in different ways. You know, us line, logarithmic, exponential. I'm gonna just leave it on linear. You have your green and magenta. You know, you can change these out and all of that good stuff. And again, of course, you have your amazing 2000K to 20,000K, all right? That's amazing in itself. Let's bring it back down to 5,600 um, or somewhere around there. And then up here, you have your CCT. You got your, you know, already, you know, pre-made stuff. You know what I mean? 3,500, 5,200, 6,000, 20,000. Let's put it back to 5,600. All right, and you got that. So the next is HSI. HSI, you know, it's what it is. You know, you got your, you can, you can control everything you need to do. You know, your different colors and you can add or add, you know, if you want to add some white to that, you can add it, make it a little more brighter or less, less you know, saturated. It gets you a lot of controls. Look at this, you, you got a lot of controls. You can change it. Or you can just change it from here, just right here. You know what I mean? I'm probably blaring you out. Or you can add your own, all right? Once you create, once you create, uh, maybe you like your own, you create your own kind of very, your own kind of color you like, just add the plus and it'll keep that color, which is pretty dope. All right, so let's go to RGB, which is my favorite. This is doing this. Look how smooth that is. Let me go. Let me go like this so I don't mess you up. But you see how smooth it is. It's very, very responsive, very responsive. And again, you can add, you can control this this, this way, but this is kind of cool. And again, you can change your Calvin's and all that. It's got a lot, man, it's got a lot. 
color gels. We all know, you know, they're just pre-made color gels. You know, I'm not gonna go too crazy with all that. You got your R gel, the L gel, all right? And then we got the scene effects, which is pretty dope. You can control the speed, you know, make it real fast or slow. You can control the hue offset, you know, whatever color you want that lightning to be. If you want the lightning to be green, you want it to be blue, if you want it to be white, whatever you want it to be, you can let it be. You know what I mean? You, know, you desaturate the colors. It gives you a lot of flexibility, trust me. And we got lightning too. I'm not worried about the color. Obviously, we know lightning isn't red, but that might be a stylistic choice. You feel me? And we got the screen. Again, you can do your brightness, your speed to the screen. You know what I mean? Your hue offset. You know, change it whatever color you need to change it to. Now you got the candlelight, which is one of my favorites. You know, you can control the speed. Like again, with all these things, you can control the speed and the hues and all of that stuff. All right, you got flash. I'm gonna just go through them. I don't wanna bore you. You got strobe. You got far and near. You got alert, all right? You got heartbeat, police car. You know, that's a favorite. Fire truck, ambulance. HXI slow gradient. I use this one sometimes when I shot the video. I'll show you the video. Fast gradient. And this is going through different colors. Strobe, G strobe, B strobe, party, party two, and RGB flash. All right. Then you got the pixel effects. I love the pixel effects. Again, you still got the speed and the hue offset and the saturation and desaturation for these colors. Like if I wanted to go like this, it would be like this. That's desaturation, all right? And as I bring these up, is, you'll start seeing the colors start coming in. You know what I mean? The pixels and stuff, that's pretty dope. All right, so we got beer sign. Candle. I like how that do that. And again, you can desaturate your candle or saturate it, all right? You can do the speed on that. Double siren, that's dope. I'm definitely using this. Night Rider, I remember that when I was a kid. <laughs> Red Alert, Rotating Siren, you got Magma. Neon sign, neon steps, sci-fi scan, weird science, senior prom, I don't know, you know. The matrix, there you go. And again, you can control the speed on that. You know what I mean? Make it slower, make it faster, change the hue to it. You know, whatever you wanna do, desaturate that bad boy or whatever. You got the nightclub, and that's it. Then you go to music. Music mode, you can have it play to the music, basically. I'm not gonna really get into that. Take a picture. This is my favorite thing with these lights that I love, that so you can match. If you're dealing any product reviews, you can match to, the, to that specific product. You know what I mean? Um, I don't have much lights around here, but let's say I wanted to match this right here, my desk. So I click on it. I take the Doppler and click. And there you go. It matched. So that's what it does. You know, it matches colors. Let's see it right here. Let's go on the box. Let's go right here. See what I'm saying? So that's very cool. I love that, and uh, it can come in very useful when you need to be specific with your colors. It's in a flawless app, it works great. Make sure to download it again. Download DSAW Light Plus, all right? Also, I used this light on a recent music video for to create some backlighting. I put it in RGB mode, and man, it did a great job. Check how it looks. And now I'm using the A1 video pixel for the background, see? Right here, you got it right behind them. Flash into the background to create.
create that look. So who needs this light? Everyone. From a professional to a novice, you need these type of lights for practicals, for for rim lights, for for, for key lights if, if you're in a real jam. There's effects on this light that other companies either don't offer or charge way too much to have. It's all included in here. And they give you a lot of ways of changing it from the speed to the brightness to the hues to the time, everything. So they give you a lot in this light and I think that's gotta be, you know, I appreciate that because nowadays, you know, money is tight and we all understand that. So everything we get has to make sense and it has to stretch. And I think this type of light definitely stretches. You need these type of lights. These things can save you when things, you know, just mess up and you have two or three of these in your bag. They take up almost no space. I mean, come on, let's be real with it, right? And you can just pop this and do what I have to do for the background. This can make a difference between a whack video and a dope video, just off of rim light, backlight, practical lights, flashing some color in the background, putting this in a light for the for a lamp shade to, to be able to control the light and cars. I think that they did a great job packaging this and the app works flawlessly. The Desol Light Plus, make sure to pick up the Desol Light Plus, okay? When you connect this. Now you can connect and you can control this from here, obviously, but I would say, connected with the app you're gonna have a much rather you're gonna have a better time if you use this with the app um the only con i would say about this is number one a quarter 20 i believe they call those i always forget you know quarter 20 whatever but i believe they're quarter 20s you do have that down here um again this is quiet this doesn't make any noise but you do have one a quarter 20 here i just wish they had one maybe on the other side or something but that's not really a con you know that's just me being you know wanting to have that because sometimes i would rather have be it this way and not this way but anyway that's what it is there's not much more i can say about the light other than man for the price that they want this light you can't beat it there's other comparable lights that claim to be better or brighter or whatever but do not pack as much as this packs in it also you know i shoot a lot of green screen and lights like this come handy very much any light does to a degree but these small lights i find that they just bring out more you know when you just need a little bit of a, a touch of highlight especially if you're in a small room shooting green screen you don't want these big old lights just to get a, a rim light you know, or a hair light, you wanna use these, you know what I mean? Or you wanna add some blue to the edge of his face or, you know, and you wanna make sure it doesn't go into the, into the green screen, spill into the green screen. So even photography, I think photography can still benefit from this as well. So that's about it. I don't know what else I could say. I love it, it's dope. Um, if you got any questions, make sure to let me know in the comments, man. I really appreciate Apparel sending this out to me. I think they do some dope stuff out there. I look forward to doing more reviews with them. Um, and you know, that's what it is. So make sure to subscribe, hit that bell on the side so you get notified on time. And like I always say, it is what it is. I'm out.